Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode and another project, which I cannot wait to get started. I'm actually bringing in one of my favorite artists, local artists, a good friend of mine, Victor Jitta Anwu. You are going to love Victor's work. He is crazy, crazy talented. We're gonna be working on Procreate. So if you happen to have Procreate, awesome. If you happen to have an Apple Pencil, awesome. If you do not, or some other tablet to draw on, or honestly, just bring out this Go Analog, bring the paper, pencil, etc. You're still gonna love to get to meet him and see his work, and let's get started. All right, guys, luckily you are, everyone is so in luck right now. So you are getting to meet one of my favorite people on the planet, Victor. I've known Victor for quite a while. What got you into being an artist and being creative? Honestly, the story is like when I was a kid, I grew up watching like cartoons and I just loved them. They're like fascinating to me. Like, you know, some of the old school ones like Thundercats, Ninja Turtles, oh, yeah. X-Men, so, like Saturday morning cartoons, right? And my family um, being really, really supportive, they always like bought me like paper. They you know, I started like liking to draw them. Um, I wasn't a really good artist at the time. And my sister would help me draw Ninja Turtle heads. So just kept on practicing at it. And at that point in time, I, we went to school and like, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? I was like, um, I want to be a policeman, I want to be a firefighter, do I want to be a scientist? And I, I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? I want to be an artist. Like I want to tell stories. I want to use my craft to imagine worlds that are literally unimaginable and like take what's in my head and visualize it. So that's kind of what started me down this path um, of being an artist, yeah. That's awesome. It's so interesting now to kind of know a little bit about like, yeah, the background because the things that I see in your work um, is, well, a lot of cartooning, but like a, a different level of cartooning. So we'll, as we'll get to see here, but what are your favorite projects? I guess I should ask that, like what mediums do you prefer? Being an artist, I, I definitely prefer animation and then just videos, because videos is like the truest, truest way that we see people, right? Um, it's a real objective eye. Um, so between like story storytelling using video and then adding on animation to kind of like emphasize those elements of life, those are probably the things I love like to use the most in regards to like. For me, a lot of people ask, and I'd be curious to know if you ask, I get the same thing, since obviously video is what kind of my medium of choice. That's my way to be creative. I mean, and I see it that way, but a lot of people, you know, I don't know if they just don't quite understand that like, they immediately think when they hear that I'm an artist, that I do paintings mm -hmm. all the time, that I draw, which I don't mind doing those things. But for me, like assembling animations and assembling video together, like the creative process really interests me. So it's kind of interesting to hear you say that too. Yeah, like it's like, you're right. Like artist is it's a very, a very broad term nowadays. It could be a, a musician, it can be a visual artist, it could be a designer, it could be somebody like, you know, like I watched a video on beatboxing the other day with like your mouth, right? Um, it's like a whole span and it's just this idea of taking and connecting dots where people didn't normally usually connect those dots. Where do you get inspiration? Like honestly, like, I've been watching your videos. They're a lot of fun. Like just you seeing you travel. Uh, honestly, you don't know this, but like it motivates me to travel. So I was like in like Europe last year. I was in Japan last year and really just like someone told me in school, like life remixes media and media remixes mm -hmm. life, right? And it's so funny, I guess I should have told everybody that, yeah, Victor and I, we both really like to travel. I really would love for people to see the photography you do. So, especially in Japan, wow, like we'll floor you, which makes me feel lazy because I'm taking some, <laughs> I'm taking some video, but I, I can't sometimes put together a really good composition for a photo. I just don't see it like you do. If you don't mind, Victor, I know everybody is gonna be asking because I obviously I've got my Apple Pencil here um, and I have had a lot of people asking me to do more about Procreate and I was like, Victor's gotta get on for this. So I don't mind putting you on the spot, but if you wouldn't mind kind of throwing down some of your skills, show some stuff, um, yeah, yeah. like I said, be awesome. Yeah, totally, yeah. Procreate is definitely one of the coolest apps. Honestly, I inspire anyone like piece of paper, pencil, napkin, um, Procreate. Adobe, whatever you your your whatever you have, definitely use it. I'm just gonna make a, a new page here and they kind of give you a lot of different cool formats, right? Regard to like size, the what do you want your final um, picture to be? I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna make a screen size. See this as well, Nate, right? That blank canvas when you first start, and that's almost like kind of like almost like scary, like oh my goodness, what do I 
What do I do? Where do I begin? Um, but Percate gives you a lot of cool tools in regards of whenever you start making work to kind of like ease you into it. One of my favorite things is if I start drawing a line, right? Um, if I don't like that line, I can take two fingers and like tap the screen and it just goes away. To kind of get started with like the way I think about things is to kind of help with that that initial reaction, like, okay, that blank page. Um, maybe you need some inspire, inspiration, right? And who else inspires me than the one and only Nate? <laughs> Whatever. So I'm, I'm gonna flattered, open, man. <laughs> I'm going to open up a uh, really cool image because we just mentioned about traveling, right? Yeah. And, um, it's so funny because you were in um, Paris before I was. So you were at the Louvre and I hit you up and I was like, hey, I'm at the Louvre. What should I see? And you're like, take a look at this. Take a look at that. So I'm gonna use you as my inspiration. Sweet. I'm gonna okay. drag that. But I'm gonna make Nate a cartoon character. So we have this image on um, the top right corner. I'm gonna kind of like let's see. Um, mm -hmm. Tapping on that icon, open up your layers. So we have your first image. I think of like layers as like pieces of paper, right? So we have like this piece of paper, or we have like our image. We're gonna trace on it. But since I can still see, you, I'm gonna make you a little bit like translucent, so I get that, that trace effect. I'm going to tap back on my Nate layer, and to the to the right of it, there's a little N. Tapping on that, will I can lower my opacity. This way, I can mm. see my lines above you when I start drawing. And now I'm going to get a simple brush, or a simple uh, brush, yeah, which is a pencil under sketching from the left-hand side. I'm going to change my brush color to pure black by tapping on the circle on the top right corner. Um, the outside circle is your colors, what we call hues. Inside circle is your bright or how dark or bright that color is. And now I'm gonna use two, pin two fingers to pinch and zoom and I'm gonna focus on drawing Nate. With drawing, I tend to focus on shapes first. So I'm just doing really loose with my lines. Since I like his jaw, I'm gonna emphasize that draw line a little more. He has that cool hair. Making it look easy, buddy. I'm slowly, <laughs> by the way, if you see me looking down, I'm trying to keep up with you a little bit here. You've yeah, already taught me, I mean, I play with this app a lot and I already feel like you've taught me three things I did not know how to do. So this is awesome. How are you doing over there, Nate? Yeah, not bad. I, turning, <laughs> <laughs> turning on and off the layers, I think you, it's interesting to see what I grabbed and then realizing what I didn't grab. I love the cartoony quality you, you already like grabbed from this. Like that, yeah, it's pretty fun. I love it. That's you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a new layer. So this will be my third layer. I wanna just go to like the simple line art now. So I'm gonna go back to our rough layer. I'm gonna tap on that, tap on the little end to the right. Same idea, I'm gonna lower the opacity here. And for the Nate layer, we're actually just gonna turn that image off now because I don't think we need it anymore. I'm gonna go back to my brushes for my line art. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do line art. Um, I like to go under either inking or calligraphy. I'm gonna go with a calligraphy and a mono line. Um, nice fun tip as well. If you ever need to make perfect circles in Procreate, if you draw a circle and then pause, it will snap to a circle and you can mm -hmm. kind of change this place. Or cool. if you need to be a perfect circle, you can use one finger hold on your screen and you get like a perfect circle. But let's see if we can do some of this line art. I'm struggling with that I can't release myself to not make everything perfect <laughs> scaled whereas like you immediately took a risk and you're like okay like a good cartoonist you're like all right the cheeks I'm gonna make them a little wider that's a pronounced I mean like you know what I mean like I just don't even see and I, I'm scared to do it and that's what cool thing about like being like a 
like a comic book artist or an animator, you can like say like, you know what, I really like this. Let's, let's push it further, let's dial it back, it's up to you. So you ready to color? You ready to kind of dive deep into that? Yeah, let's do it, man. So coloring is actually like not one of my strongest suits, honestly. It's something I've been working on in regards to like color, because color apparently is it's all subjective. Sometimes I might like sample color here. Um, I tend to make a digital palette. <laughs> Even though I know in Procreate, you can definitely save your colors in here. I find it easier for me to sample color and then paint. And then I'll sample another color and drop that in as well. So if you ever want to sample color, just using one finger, hold on your, your screen, you'll get this like a little, what we call it, eyedropper tool. Mm, yeah. And whatever that center cross, it picks it up and makes it your current color. Okay. So I'm gonna sample one tone. I'm using a painting round brush. I want to make sure my color, my base layer is below my line art. That looks so cool, dude. <laughs> look at that, man. Dude, you make it look so easy. It would take me years to get that. Like, that looks so good. Uh, Since you showed me, oh, dude, it's so, I gave up on, I started, and I just like, <laughs> I, didn't give up. I didn't give up, but can you see this? Hey, that's awesome. Look at that. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. I just decided to get all like, I don't know. I just can't help myself like, I started just blending and then I noticed how you were doing it. And now I'm like really wanting to go back um, and do a different layer like you did and create the shadows. I know a lot of people are gonna ask that they can like see some more of your work or follow kind of what you're doing, whether it's photography, video, etc. Yeah, like um, I do have like my website, which is like under my company name, like, you know, Varietist. Like um, a lot of stuff that you'll see, you'll see that probably on Instagram as well. Um, the Varietist on Instagram. Um, or even Twitter. Um, the goal of the riot is to make it less about me and more of this ideology in regards to like finding people that have many different skills and passions and learning from them. That's what the riotist means, like a person with many different skills, but less of, less of me and more of the community, right? Like these are people with many different skills. Like, oh, you're, you're a ballerina dancer, but you also are a doctor. Interesting. <laughs> like what? How is how those two connected? Right. So... But. Hey, it's awesome to like have somebody else but me down here drawing and uh, you've like taught me a lot of stuff and I'm sure everybody watching has learned a lot. So seriously, thanks so much, man. Love, love hearing your story too. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you for reaching out. I look forward to seeing more of your episode and more of the community that what you build. So keep it up. Keep All it right. up. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon. I hope. So.